Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Ixion. In the last episode, we visited Jupiter and moved the Ixion engine into place on the Tycoon, which means we're now ready to move out of this system. But before we do, there's a few things I want to gather. There's hydrogen and iron and ice that's kind of left down around Saturn. So my goal is to get down there, load up as quick as I can, and then get jumping out of this system to follow the trail of the Protagoras. The reason I want to do that instead of just going now is because it says in the System Jumps Ixion tutorial page that there is deterioration. Each full jump permanently damages the hull of the Tycoon, resulting in a reduction to its maximum integrity value. Each full jump also results in a permanent increase to the station's hull depletion rate, increasing the ongoing difficulty of maintaining the hull. So basically, this is going to deplete at a faster rate and it's going to have a harder cap to kind of keep up with. So what that means is, we're not really going to be coming back here. Or at least if we are, it's going to be a long time before we do. So, I want to make the most of all the resources that are around us. So through probe launches, we had seen that there is a bunch of stuff down here. So we're going to go to Saturn and try to get as much of this stuff as possible and then get out of here. So let's just have a look around, probe the crap out of it, get back inside, and uh, just basically queue up auto-building on probes and just send them all out there. Then, our mining ship will make its way down immediately to find that stuff. So, for a little bit of a recap on the sector situation, Sector 1, again, is kind of an all-rounder. We station a lot of people here that don't work. And then we have a lot of food production buildings and that kind of thing, and also space buildings. So stuff to do with the exterior of the ship. In Sector 2, it's really our industrial-focused sector. We've got a huge stockpile area here in the center, some housing here, some housing here. Additional food area, a lot of people out there queuing up for food outside of the mess hall as well right now. Two foundries, a polymer factory, an electronics factory, and then an area where we're going to be building our new batteries. And this is where we thaw out our population. So that's basically the situation. We're currently, as I mentioned, outside of Jupiter, which looks awesome right now. The game just looks stunning, can't get over it. We're very tight on, on power though as well. So another thing I want to do is while we're out of alloys, basically tell them to... Get your alloys back. There's no need to build that building just yet. I'm going to recover this really quickly. And we're also going to build a couple of small stockpiles here, which are kind of temporary. Assign them to alloys. Set them on a high priority, at least one of them. And once they get built, what's going to happen is there's a bottlenecking problem here that I noticed at the end of the last episode. So what's happening is we've only got five forklifts that will drive around the alloys because I've only got one stockpile doing it, this one right here. What that means is this poor little guy, these five forklifts are busy collecting from here, collecting from here, and then also transferring alloys constantly into here. So that's a lot for one stockpile to be handling. So we need more alloy stockpiles, but for now I'm just going to build a couple here and then... I'll get to it a bit later on, but this will allow us to kind of recoup the alloys from here, reassign them to different things in the meantime, and then build this again later on. So we'll get all that done in a moment, you'll see why I'm doing that, but I just wanted to catch up on that. So we have a probe right now, we just sent one out, we set this to auto build. Yeah, we're good, just making sure, okay cool, we are good. So, oh yes, yeah, the very last thing then would be that out here, there is 495 iron ore that we want to go collect. That's quite a lot, but I've only got one ship going back and forth doing it. The other cargo ship I have is kind of doing other things. What I'm going to do is basically say, both of you get that stuff as a super high priority right now. And also, actually, you know what? Electronics is super important first, so get the electronics. I'm going to make another cargo ship in Sector 2. And it costs 20 polymers, which we should have soon enough because we do have a polymer factory. And it takes one person. So, new cargo ship, the whale. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, get that carrying loads of stuff as well to help out. So, we want to load this place up as fast as possible so we can get out of here. Now, there's actually no time imperative to leave, as far as I know. But I obviously want to keep things progressing. I know I'm a slow player. Um, a few people have been commenting, like, could you stop pausing the game? It's like, no. I'm sorry. I'm going to be pausing a lot, otherwise I'll lose. So that's why. It's not like I pause it for fun. I pause it because I need to think. Um, and if I don't do that, I'll just lose. So, But I know if it's frustrating for some people, I'm, I'm afraid that's just my playstyle. People said the same thing in my Frostpunk Let's Plays. They, say the same, they can't say the same thing in Anno because there is no pausing in that game. Uh, so the other thing I want to do is build our solar panels here. 45 polymers and one electronics, and that will hopefully ease the tensions of power right now. 
Okay, so that is my hand played. The only other thing then is when we're pulling all this back... Yeah, I'm waiting for the other stockpile to get up and running. Great, so it's being built now. Get this one done. It's a high priority as well, please. Then we're going to have 15 forklifts that can kind of move these alloys around really quickly. And I'd like to even get into this next area over there. Because no doubt there's going to be alloys on the ground in there, like there was in this sector. There might be, I would assume, if I was designing the game, there'd be less and less the further in you go. But I don't know. We'll see. All right, so that's the situation. So we're going to wait for this ship to get made. It won't get made super quick. It has to get its materials first and then get made. Same with this. This will try to repair the hull if it can until it gets its materials. It has the electronics, but it needs more polymers. So we're just constrained by polymers for a little while while we wait for this to kind of churn them out. All right, so now we're picking this apart much quicker than before, which is great to see. So what we're going to do is build a workshop here and a workshop here. Workshops allow for construction. We already have two, but we're going to dismantle these to make space. And then we should be pulling in more electronics soon enough. So the next thing then will be a cryonic center here. And then this cryonic center can move over next to its buddy. And that way they're right across from where all the pods are being stored anyway. This way we can waken up people twice as fast as we have been. But you got to watch that food situation. We're already a little low uh, on food, so we have to watch out for that. I realized, by the way, in the previous episode, I accidentally moved 30 crew members from one sector to another. I thought they were purely workers, but they were actually a combination of the two. Uh, now, it kind of worked out, because we did need some more people here anyway. But in, what I really want to be doing next is really just moving the people that are not workers into the other sector. This is primarily, I don't want anyone slacking in here. Everyone living in these nice, beautiful quarters should be putting, you know, getting to work. Whereas we can maybe build that thing we saw on the tech screen, which is not so nice quarters, um, in here. But it, ha it has a higher density of population. Alright, so probe completed its scan. Can we do we have another one? We do have another one. Let's go. So our mining ship will just head out here and start getting these things. If we could get higher yield resources first, that'd be good. It's a decent amount of ice out here. Let's go. Now... Ice is obviously used for food, but we don't have that technology yet. What I'm thinking of getting, I had to look through the tech tree. I don't think we're going to get any more tech in this system. I can't find any, unless some random event happens. We're not going to get any, and we do not have enough... I'm not going to sit here for 200 cycles to build up 8 science so that we can get a DLS center. So, what I'm going to do is, I saw on the insect farm, there is accelerated growth. You can use 30 tech points, and we can get a 10% improvement to food. So let's just do that. Because we've so many food buildings, what is it, like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. With about 2 more on the way. That 10% is actually going to make a bit of a difference. So, we'll put them to use, get them studying that. Now, that's done, we can dismantle one of these, get these alloys back. Alright, nice. Now these are more productive as well. Sector 2 is no longer specialized in industry. Why? So you can't actually check the specializations without a DLS thing, and I don't have one yet. But uh, As we build up alloys, though, we'll get that factory back down here. I'll just place it so that we see it, and then I'll just pause it. Okay. Cool. All right. All good. So another thing is the battery situation. So I've been having a look at that and reading a bit more about it. We have 1.5 cycles of power in this sector. So basically, we can travel 1.5 cycles distance. So how far is that? That's 1.9. So we'll run out of power about there in sector 2. Unless we just power down maybe one or two of the foundries, and then we could probably make it the rest of the way. Or we could build more batteries, which I plan on doing. So batteries are the way to go. So we've got two more being built, just like that. I'm going to decommission this cryonic center as well now. And move it over there. It's efficiency. That's all it is. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying that and uh, assume everybody agrees with me and that I'm, I'm being as efficient as you possibly can be. All I'm seeing is a lot of people bitching and moaning out there that the game's too hard. But I tell you what, I ain't losing. I'm doing pretty good. I got trust in the people. Power right in the edge, right in the fucking line, man. And then hull integrity, that's fine too, you know? So you can call it, say that I'm pausing too much. I don't care, man. It has to be done. At least I'm not losing. <laughs> 
I was going to say something else while I paused there a second ago. That would have been a bit more offensive, but I feel like I should toe the line a bit more. I appreciate everyone watching. <laughs> and I'm trying to speed up. But I am a slow-paced gamer, that's for sure. So we have our whale now. Go get your iron, please. And did I... I feel like I already did this, but did we set that to high priority? No. High priority, please. So there you go. Head out there first, instead of going miles off to wherever gods knows where. Alright, so they should just be going right next door to get the stuff that's right next to them. Speeding up, cutting down on that travel time. And our two batteries are getting made now as well, which is good. We're storing power, I should say. They're, they are made. Good. Alright, have I made any grave errors? What's food like? Food is actually full up in this sector, which is good. Uh, I reckon we start moving people over then, because we've got too many in here. People are working extra hours and stuff as well. Alright, population. This time we want only non-workers from Sector 2 to Sector 1. We can actually just click this until it goes red. And there we go, 40 people can move. So get out of here, you slackers. Alright. New house for them, they'll love it. 15 people can live in there, although I think there already is some homelessness. Uh, we could check that. Oh no, there isn't actually, but there will be. <clears throat> just a little bit. Not to worry. Uh, and they're in extra hours in here. So we're still waiting on the polymers to come in. These guys are slacking on the polymer factory. Oh my god, we have conveyor belts. Whose trust in your leadership is falling? Oh, don't worry about that. Partial blackouts. What are you Power talking about? Overloaded. Are the batteries not kicking in? I would have thought so. Administrator. A new request awaits your attention. There we go. Batteries are online now. So obviously we're depleting batteries that way. A new request. What are you going to say? Oh, the power is going out. I'm scared. During the conception of this mission, many plans for prototype buildings were stored in my memory. With knowledge gathered by our exploration teams, we can adopt them, adapt them. Stanford's team locked field data to make these plans viable, yet we can realize their full potential. Batteries will allow the Tycoon to function on an auxiliary circuit when the energy supply... Yeah, I know. I know. It's here already. That's how good I am. But yeah, we shouldn't have run into a deficit at all. So what we'll do is we'll turn off something that's not necessarily needed. For instance, we don't have the factory up and running. So why do we have two stockpiles powering silicon? No reason. Because it's literally no use for them, so. Good. Power's back online. When is that flipping solar panel going to get done? 22 out of 45 polymers. They're coming in now with them. We can see them right here. You might think, hey. transfer complete. Why don't you build your, you know, these things. Where are you going, by the way? Oh, they're do oh, yeah. Oh, they're actually delivering straight in there. It would have been... So they went in here, came all along there, and dropped it in here. You could have just went there. It's much quicker. But I was going to say, why not just build a stockpile somewhere here? It's because if we end up opening that sector, then they have to go all the way to the other side. So stockpiles in the center of your um, sectors seem to make the most sense if you're transferring between them. A little bit of homelessness still in here. Oh, no, in sector one, sorry. But that's okay. Not too bad. People are neutral still because of the... A little bit too many pods in storage that haven't been opened. We have 319. In the tycoon. Accident. That's alright. Don't worry about it. Did anyone die? Nope. Nope. Everyone's fine. I haven't checked those infirmaries in a while, but yeah, they've been totally fine. Trust is regaining. has completed its scan. Are we on auto build? We are. Maybe stop that while we're getting more power. Let's see where that probe... Oh, we haven't built another one. That was just the one that's figured out what's around here, yeah? So we have... 143 ice. 457... Uh, iron. Good, good, good. What's left here, by the way? 366. I reckon we're almost ready to get moving over there. 1.5 cycles of power. We need 1.7 or 1.8 or something, don't we? And then we'll get moving. 
which will build really quickly if we just get more power. But it's not happening because it's building slowly because we don't have much excess power. Steel mill was disabled due to an accident. Seven crew members are injured. Goddamn. It's okay, the integrity wasn't that low. It shouldn't be that long before it's back online. Alright, good. Just waiting on this to get its polymer. Was there any polymer that I left out not collecting? Yes, of course there was. <laughs> Alright, you can get these other things now too. And I suppose... Alright, that probably should have been done a bit better. I didn't really think about the fact that there's polymer just waiting out there. I was thinking that it's taking quite a while to get this made. We make five per cycle. Um, so we've got ten in here. So I guess just to speed things up a little bit, what we could do is say sector two. Don't worry about it. Just bring it to sector one. Thank you. And that should be what it needs to just get those solar panels made. Once the solar panels are made, we'll get the extra power to bump up our batteries a lot quicker. And uh, we'll be laughing. We'll head over to whatever planet that is in the distance. Neptune, I think it was. 84%. There we go. Battery power is now climbing. 1.7 cycles. Once we get to 1.9, we'll move out. We shouldn't lose any power doing that, and we can get that last little bit of power then. Or uh, There we go. We're good. Let's move. Not with the Ixion engine. We're going to move the Tycoon. Let's launch a probe first. So... Somewhere just around Saturn. Silicon. There we go. We're going to need more of that. So probe launched... Tycoon, move to Uranus, please. 1.9 cycles, perfect. Alright, great. So with the nice battery power that we've just invested in, inside we should still be working. You can see the lighting changes when you move to battery power, which I think is so cool. Cool idea, good idea. But our batteries are just going to be slowly depleting now. While this bar builds up. And what we could always do is, if we go like, oh, this is too much to handle, we could just power down one of these buildings if we think we're going to run out, maybe. Food is getting a little low as well. And we got that technology, didn't we? Yeah. Even with that technology, it's getting low because we're waking people up all the time and now twice as much as well. So we've got 22 power left. So I'm going to just turn this off. It's really not worth getting the extra little bit there. And that keeps conditions optimal now for them. Here, we're a little bit overworked, but we're waking people up all the time. So hopefully uh, we can soon get ahead of that. We're only 10 behind, so it's not too bad. What's just happened? I don't know what that was. <laughs> it looked cool, but are we almost there? There we are. Now, Neptune, oh my god, I, I can't quite remember, but I feel like it's not a gas giant. Isn't it like an ice giant or something? Which, actually, I don't know if that means it is gas or not. I feel like it's not a rocky planet, but I don't know. I, I don't remember. I wonder does it tell me. Oh, this is Uranus. Just shows you how off base I am. But it is an ice giant. Surface temperature at negative 200 degrees Celsius. Yikes. Isn't the lowest temperature like 272 or something? 27 satellites. How many satellites does Jupiter have? 59 confirmed. Hmm. Alright, well, we're there. So we made it, and now power is just going to be building back up again. So the reason that we came here is just so that they cut down on the travel time out to this. 177 left to go, so it's really not that much, but it cuts down the travel time for our cargo ships just to go there, come back, and just load us up nice and quick. And then we're going to get moving down to either Neptune or Saturn, whichever one we can make it to first. So how much? That's 4.7 cycles, and that's 5. 
Yikes. Don't know if we'll be able to save power for five cycles easily or quickly, but maybe. So how many trips is this? 30 per trip. So five, six trips, six trips, and we should be able to get everything out of there. And fed into sector two. So it's time to start building this again. So this is going to be loaded up with tons of alloys from all our little forklifts. And once that's up and running, we can feed it with silicon. That we've got too much of anyway. A probe has completed its scan. Probe completed scan. So we found more silicon down here. 63. It's actually kind of a high priority, I feel like. Something that's a bit more special than iron. So maybe go to that after if you can. Good. See, now we've got like a nice, nice shorter travel time between these two. I mean, everyone knows this. I, don't, I just took a really long time to do it. Uh, we're in optimal conditions now in both sectors, so that's great. But still neutral, still a little unhappy from the unopened cryonic pods. But with two of them being open now all the time, hopefully that'll be a bit quicker. We are depleting food, though, which is not to be forgotten. Um, in fact, with the extra workers we've got here, let's just put down a few extra food buildings. Another insect farm maybe in here. Could do three in a row. And then until we get a better food tech, that's kind of what we have to do. So I'll just build one, and we'll let the other one get, get done. So this place is building up workers as well, so soon we'll be able to build another one here. That should keep us ahead. Suppose no reason not to give them their extra homes as well. We're almost out of carbon, actually. So the polymer thing is going to stop being produced soon. Let's just do another probe, because I feel like we can afford it. And the electronics factory is getting done now as well, so extra people can go work in that. That's 30 people, though. It's quite a lot, so... We're going to be overworked for a while while we get that up and running. Could always turn off the electronics here, actually. I don't think it's really going to be... doing anything until we get this up and running. And then we have two here. This stockpile can probably shut down now and empty out. We don't need the extra forklifts. All right, that saves on a few people. How are we doing for power? So power-wise, we now have 3.1 cycles of backup power ready to go. So what we could do at the very least is power down maybe this and this. That saves 30 power. Power down these two factories. That saves 65 power and then get moving, um, because that would at least keep food production going, which would be important. So how much left do we have? 51. All right, good. We're making good time, I think. About 20-ish minutes into the episode. We'll get to Saturn in no time. We're making another probe. So we know that, has this been mined? Yeah, it still has to be mined. This, so you have a little symbol next to it that tells you actually what it still has to get mined. I don't really have the space to have another miner, so. It is what it is. We'll just get what we can. Another probe, please. Saw a big jump there a second ago. There's ice and iron there together. So that's decent. Is there and there's even more here? I feel like I'll just get both. There we go, that's a good spot. Alright. I do feel like the science ship should be able to do that. Like, I don't have them doing anything, so it'd be nice to just send them down these ways. There you go. You guys can go off to those two planets just for fun <laughs> at this point. All right, how are we doing internally? Power is good. Resources are pretty good. We're now just about to get our electronics factory up and running. Just going to put us into overwork just a little bit. We do have 24 workers ready to, to work, though, so we're only overworking by a tiny bit. About five people. And then they're going to need the silicon from here first. So let that one empty out. And once that empties out, we can just turn it off. Or set it to something else even. Maybe iron, because we seem to have a bit too much building up. So there you go. So this is now 30 silicon for one electronics, but it takes three cycles just to get the one. Holy crap. That's slow. And we could start investing in another battery. 
and I also want to invest in opening this up. So that's two electronics, 80 alloys. Maybe we'll do that next, because I'm confident we'll get alloys in there. So I'll save on the batteries. I think we've got enough to carry us to where we need to go. If we've, especially if we power things down. So I'm just waiting on that to be done. It's gone. All right, we're good to get moving now, then. Our batteries are full. We have everything loaded up. Let's get moving. Does that mean, though, that ship that's heading off this way... Ah, I guess it's fine. I was going to say, like, are they going to be left behind really far for a long time? But I, I suppose not. All right, then. So let's do this. This is offline. This can be offline permanently because we don't have any more carbon anyway. This can power down, and so can this. So we're going to stop alloy production just for a little bit. With that in mind, now we've got 4.1 cycles of power. So we're going to get most of the way. Maybe we can power down one of the... One of this. Don't need to, We're not going to be building, so that's fine. And, yeah, to be honest, this can go too. So how much now? 4.7? That's going to get us almost the entire way. We could make a quick stop at Neptune, but I feel like that'd be inefficient. So we'll, we'll just make it all the way to Saturn and just power things down or at least go into a blackout for a minute. Um, all right, let's get going. So the Tycoon to Saturn. What was it again? Five cycles. And we have 4.7 cycles of power. What about in here? 3.3. Not that this... Well, this actually makes a lot of food. So what we could do here as well is power down the tech buildings offline. EVA airlock. I don't know if we can power that down while we're... I think we can, can't we? That saves on a good amount of power. The docking bay I'm a bit more confused about because I feel like we won't be mining. And then the probe launcher. Alright, let's, let's give it our best shot and see how it goes. Alright. We weren't there very long. See you later, Uranus. We're heading to Saturn. I've collected all of that iron now in the process. But at least we're still producing food. That's the kind of important thing that I want to keep going at least for a while. But you can see the batteries are just depleting so much faster in the first sector. But we can always even that out. Maybe we'll reduce some of the food. So we're not completely offline, but 4.4 cycles and 4.0. So we can just balance them to be the same. 4.0, 3.9. As good as it's going to get. All right, we'll just speed up time. It is a pretty big journey in fairness as well. Don't know if we're gonna be doing that that often, but probably would wanna get just a little bit of extra battery power. A probe has completed its scale. That's cool, you can see all the ships trying to catch up to us. Uh, probe completed its scan, we have the ice out there, 60 iron, 62, 76. Miner is still working, so that's fine. Julio Escobar, our guy. Oh, there we go. They are actually pulling ahead. That's nice. Oh, man, it'd be so cool if you could see them. They gotta have a series engine equipped to keep up with our speed, right? That would be the idea. There's still a few things to collect out there. There was polymers and alloys on Jupiter. And there's some ice over there. There's carbon to get over here. Which could be a high priority to keep our building running, actually. No more silicon left. No more people left. So we've just got a little bit of resources left to go before we're done. Coffee. Hull integrity below 50%. Don't worry about that. Don't be giving me alarm bells. Jeez. Alright, looks like we made it before anything powered off. Just about. Maybe just to make sure that doesn't happen, because it can be a trust. You can lose a bit of trust. I'll just pull this down as well for a sec. 
What's the deal? The integrity of the hull fell below 75%. Current damage exceeds the tolerance level set by the Nihil structure theory. Structural theory. It would be wise to commission repairs so as to prevent the mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll restore it to 75%. Don't you worry. 30 cycles? Easy. Easy. Easily done. We're moving. You know? We're in the middle of moving. All right, power. We didn't have power down. Excellent. Love to see it. So look how fast our batteries gain now because we have so much power available. So it does actually go faster um, the more power you have in excess. So it was right. I was just confused in the last episode because it didn't feel like it, but I think I was looking at very small margins. Um, but yeah, good. We're going to be here for a little while longer anyway, so we can start powering things back on now. Get our food production up. That's a priority. As we're welcoming more and more people in all the time. Uh, the airlock needs to come back on as well, obviously, so we can start repairing fast. 73 repairs. Boom. Love to see it. Don't need any more probes. I think we're good. Leave that powered off for a while. Alright, guys. Power back on the construction buildings in case we need repairs. Start waking people up. Wake up. Alright, and the steel foundries as well, please. So we're still optimal almost everywhere. This needs to take in more silicon and start producing electronics. And then here, we don't have any carbon in storage, actually, so we're good on that one. But this is going to take two electronics and 80 to open up. So that's the next thing we're going to do. We have 80 on overall, but not in here. We've only got 50. We'll tell them to unlock it. 40 extra people need to go in there. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. That's okay. It's just this one sector. It's going to be offline for a day. Did anyone die? Eight crew members are injured. That's kind of a lot. All right, we're looking good. Hey, people are happy again. Excellent. I guess we've thawed out enough people. Yeah, so there's 99 there. There's 121 here. So we're lower than 250. So, yep, we just need to deliver electronics. We have four in this sector and two in this sector. Okay. Restore the whole integrity to 675. We should be able to do that. To keep our people happy, of course. Uh, let's check out where we are. So we're in Sa we're at Saturn. God, it's incredible. All right. Um just have like an existential crisis thinking about space. Like even just one other planet in our system. Don't even get me started. Anyway, it'd be so exciting to jump to a whole different system. So what's your problem? You need this online to store up your electronics. That's fine. 30 silicon in, one electronics out, and it takes three cycles. So you're not getting much of it. 70 out of 80, two electronics, they're in. All right, 10 more alloys that we're in here. And then we start all over again. <laughs> and we see what's available to us. Hopefully lots of alloys. So we're just always short on it. We are full up on iron though right now. So let me have a look in space. And see our cargo ship is going all the way back out to get the last bit of polymers and stuff over there. That's fine. The other two ships. Let's do some fleet management. So they're just both getting iron right now. But we are full. So I'll put these on medium priority. Maybe that will help when they realize, like, hey, you're full, so I'll go get something else every now and then. Or it's like every second or third trip where I get something different. Now, we're going to need, actually, storage for ice. Do we have... It's... Yeah. Hey, we're in. Nice. Yes, lots of stuff. So what do we have? Some electronics. I'm seeing seven electronics. And then everything else is alloys. Lots of alloys, though. So we have to get building in here quickly because this sector has just delivered 40 people they're all homeless they're hungry they have uh apparently health problems oh well they don't actually have health problems so they could do so let's get our roads set up so we just need to connect to lots of different buildings so they can all grab their materials drag that all the way out there yeah i saw a comment where someone was like you've got too many roads that was on the first episode i'm like really so I do delete them, obviously, after getting the things that we need.
Arguably that didn't need to be done, but that's fine, whatever. Let's leave it at that for now, and then we can just grab all of that immediately. So we'll put a stockpile right here. Uh, we can get another stockpile for food. A workshop to get constructing and moving, and a mess hall to feed people. Okay, so that's already food, that's already alloys. It doesn't, those things are all free and insta-built when you go into a new sector. I guess they're prefabricated in a way. And our constructor is now building, and then once these are connected via roads, we should be able to just start piling them up. Then we can deliver them in here if we need to, build those batteries, save up extra power, and get ready for our vol jump. Something I haven't done in a while, let's have a look at where these sectors kind of are. So if we do this, and then we hover over, so we can see sector two on the bottom there, sector three next to it, sector one there. Cool. Cycle 216, feeling good. 200 cycles, opening up the third sector, getting everything we can out of here before we head off. Hull integrity coming back up. We need, it is gonna get lower and lower as we get closer and closer to the number. So 675, we're 100 off, 130 off. They're on extra hours here and optimal here, okay. This is a thick building with 30 workers in it, I guess. We have lots of iron coming in. So this is almost full. I might just say, yeah, just stop that and just feed into just feed from this one for now. And if it gets full, then I'll lock it. So we have optimal conditions in here. There we go. We can finally start grabbing everything. And just to speed that process up, we'll make another stockpile that does the same thing. And we need another one anyway for electronics. And then we'll do a re reorganization again and remove all these things. Cool. One crew member died during the last cycle in an accident. Uh. Accident. Three crew members were injured. One crew was killed the next day, the day before as well. Damn, we lost two people. I don't know, do they just get ejected into space or, or what? We haven't built any memorials or there's no like, you know, obviously burial, like some sort of makeshift morgue or crematorium maybe or something. What are we up to now? 605, all right, we're making good progress. Power is still in excess. We've got more polymers now than ever. So maybe we should also think about, well, I'll get that done and then we can maybe build more power. At least the batteries are gaining. I think we're pretty good here, so we're optimal conditions now again. So I'm going to resume that and then tell them to start getting on food again. Because I'm noticing it's getting kind of low again. So we've got a lot to build. So two extra food production buildings. So globally, on the station, we're at negative 5.1. So something I'm noticing is this place is filling up to its max storage. And this isn't. So it seems like we could do better with sector management, right? So we've got 100 here. We've told them to only really have to store, let's say you only have to keep 75 in sector one. But in sector two, you should really aim for 100 because it's the one that has more of a drain, right? I think. So let's try that. So now we should see our little thing ferrying food to the other sector. And that should keep the buildings producing because I think they're kind of getting a little backed up, maybe, because that fluctuated quite wildly. And I think it's because production sort of stopped for a bit in here. Yeah, it's a coincidence, isn't it? 5.6 is what's made and 5.6 is what was consumed. I think that's just because the storage was locked. So now we should see it opening up, I think, and producing a bit more. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully my theory is correct on that. Okay. We're almost ready to clear this place and start putting down houses and stuff. People are happy despite not having a home. A new request 
awaits your attention. A new request. Where is it? Plain Munchie algorithms that has identified. Oh no, that staying too long in one system exacerbates death, dead earth sickness. This collective trauma will not begin to heal till the crew can set foot in their new home. That's lame. Come on, dude. Oh, it's like I shouldn't have even built the Ixion engine then. I should have just collected everything then built it. A negative one to stability until we move out of here. Well, I'm not moving. Not until we get everything we need. I'm moving at the end of this episode. The next one will experience what's going on in the next place. There's too much stuff around. How am I supposed to just walk away from it? 300 there. 76. 60. 143. You kidding me? There's no way I'm walking away from all this stuff. It's too much. Science ship can come back, by the way. They don't need to be there anymore. It's actually interesting. Could I... Seeing as we don't need sign ships anymore... I could dismantle them and rebuild miners and just really hammer on getting everything. <laughs> what does unassigned mean? Just put it into storage or something, is it? I guess so. 20 polymers for another mining ship. Let's just get another mining ship. We can rotate those then if we need to. It seems like we're storing it, but the game is pretty practical. I'm surprised, like, where is it being stored, you know? <laughs> or is it literally just out in space? I don't think so. I think we have brought it back. Yeah, it's just not... Okay, well, yeah. Fair enough. So the five crew are still technically working it, but they're not out there. They're just in storage somewhere. Whatever. All good, I suppose. So that mining ship has come back for maintenance. We're going to send two of them out now so they can get drilling a bit quicker so we can start bringing everything in with our cargo. I can handle the negative one. It's easy. You know, it's, we're on neutral now again. We're still gaining trust, so it's not a big deal. If it gets worse, then I guess we'll have to go. Alright, let's hook up these roads. It's just efficiency is what it is, you know, straight up. All right, we have 100 alloys here. Excellent, 141 there. So again, uh, resource management, sector three. Well, you'll kind of need them actually, so we should start building houses now. So let's say, similar to how I've done it before. I guess to keep things consistent, maybe just so that we're not visually reorientating ourselves all the time. I'll build a road here along the bottom and we'll put some houses down here so we need three and then three again so i think it's there now we'll just get house there and there all right cool all right good so just keep them busy put the alloys to good use I will say, this part of the game is a bit weird. I actually find it very therapeutic and nice, but it's a strange thing to design. It's like, I'll oh, build a bunch of roads, get a bunch of things, and then delete everything, and then rebuild. Because you can't, like, build optimally at first. You have to, like, get the stuff, right? You have to build roads to get it, so... You're gonna obviously have to delete those roads. I am happy with how I've built, though. I think I've built relatively well. I'm pretty happy with that. I think this place is probably going to be a food sector, but I'm not sure. Could be anything, obviously, but I wonder what color the other ones are. What color is this one? Teal. And what color is Sector 6? Gray. How is food, by the way, actually? Hey, we're positive. Love to see it. 3.4 globally, now that everyone's working. And we're optimal conditions, so we've stayed ahead of our thawing process, although there is still... Uh, 169 or 168 in total to still have to come on board. Our total population is 633. Fleet management now. So yeah, you. 
get out there. We never found the hydrogen. Ah, oh, we saw hydrogen once before. So let's build a new probe and get that. That'll be the last thing then. Definitely want to bring in the hydrogen. Oh my god, the power is at 310 out of 310. Perfectly efficient, exactly what I'm exactly as I intended it to be. Uh, <laughs> little alarming. Uh, let's just turn this one off. Have this be set to hydrogen. Not that we need it online right now anyway, but... Yeah, so this can then be transferred out of here as well. So, sorry for all this micromanagement. Sector 3, you don't need any electronics. Just say 0. Sector 2, try to always have, like, I don't know, 10. And sector 1, try to have 10 if you can as well. So there we go. They're heading off. I don't know if, um, something I don't know actually is, and I know what you're thinking, you're like, Darren, you know everything about this game, um, is I wonder if they go into this gateway, do they, can they just come out of this one and deliver stuff in here? Because I feel like I just saw them do that. I saw them go through and I didn't see them come through either road. And they've just emptied out completely here. Is there any more, there's no more electronics, so you can get rid of this now. That guy's still building his little roads out there. Alright, our probe is ready to go. So let's find that hydrogen. There's definitely some out here. There it is. I remembered. That might be the last thing we get. Because I have a feeling we don't need that yet. But hey, if we could get it before we advance the game and go into another place... Pretty good. Because he ain't coming back here, I don't think. Still 63 silicon out there to mine. So, even though you've got that as a priority, why aren't you going to get that right now? They've also got ice as a priority, I guess. No more iron left, either. But there is still iron to be collected by our various... Uh, things. So they're going to get... Is that what they have on board right now? What's up here? Five polymer. There's 144, 145 ice up there. There's carbon here. God, yeah. That's pretty far away as well. Last bits of iron are coming in though. Well, I guess like I said, I don't know why I'm panicking. We are fine. I would like to advance obviously just for the episode's sake. I'll try to keep time moving fo forward. Sector three hasn't got its houses yet. They're being built now. Collect the last little bits of stuff as well. Then we can delete all these roads. Probe completed its scan. Hydrogen, 36. So not much, but it is there. And we have a ship on the way to it right now, the Rushmore. Taking a very long ass time to get there, but. Uh, we solved the whole integrity issue, so that's good. Nice, I'm pretty happy with all that. Is our tech building online? No. Could it be? Uh, maybe. Mm, probably not, actually. We've only got 15 available workers. Uh, we could be producing more food if we wanted to. I don't see a reason why not, so let's just do that. Zero in the carbon stockpile, ten in there. Zero in the... Ah, so we're done with silicon. Sorry, I didn't see that. There's 26 in stock. Now, obviously, there is more silicon out to be collected, so I'm waiting for them to get that. We'll still be able to maybe refine into one more electronics. Maybe two. That's offline as well. Okay. I love it, man. Place is running like clockwork. Feels good. And then eventually we can get rid of all this food and build more industry in here. Put it in some other place. Probably in here. And just set up food distribution networks. How many people are in here? 40? How many workers? 40. Okay. What about in here? A lot of people that don't need to be in here. <laughs> Okay, we have collected everything, so let's just get rid of all these roads. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. That's fine. 
It happens. Oh my god, alright. Alright, looking a little bit better. So, 162. So, yeah. I mean, we know we're going to need more people here, so let's just build... Maybe eight. Keep it like that. And then just fit the food in maybe a little bit better or something. And I guess then start working out food buildings. So they're waiting on silicon to come in. Keep time moving. So they're currently mining the hydrogen and mining ice. These guys are arriving in with 30 iron and more crew members, 12 polymer and one alloy. So let me just reorganize things. There's a lot of ice out there, but it's on medium priority. There's no more of this. I'm just for my own clarity. Just get rid of some of these. So yeah, there is hydrogen to be gathered. So go get that's a priority to go grab that. Okay, there's only four resources that we can get right now. Someone will have to be grabbing this as well. So you can do ice as your priority. You can do iron as your priority. And you can also do the silicon once it becomes available. You're going to do and carbon, why not? And you can just focus on ice and hide maybe, yeah, something like that. So two people doing ice because there's so much of it. And then one guy doing everything else, pretty much. So what I can do as well is... Who's trust in your leadership Shit. is falling? Hmm. We do need more power. power can we... supply overloaded. Don't think I've really got the polymers to add more power yet. No, I don't. Has more carbon come in? Nope. And we gotta get moving then. <laughs> Alright, well power-wise, shut that building down for a sec. Speed of time. Twenty-three crew members are injured, so that we don't have enough infirmary space for them all. Interesting. What about in here? Twelve out of fifteen. Can we move people who are injured? Is that possible? No. Well, move non-workers from sector two to sector one. Seventy. Start the migration, please. Non-workers. How much power is that? It's only three power. We could get another one. Mm, maybe here. 40 alloys. God damn. Alright, we got some problems, but I think we'll be able to handle it once we get that second infirmary up and running, although it is in this sector, so I don't know if that's really going to help things. I guess even if it's going to be temporary, we could just get one here and get them hopefully helped out. Alright, well the extra houses are available in here now, so there's no more housing problem. And then they have food, but there's no real food coming in here anymore, so we need to set up food. Okay, so that's what these guys are going to be doing, is food production. So let me just work that out, and then that'll probably be one of the last things we do. I'll let time play, I guess. Insect farms are just the only things we really have right now. So I'll put it against the wall like this. One, two, three. How many people work these? Eight, 16, 24. So let's keep it like that. Build a road all along there. It's a lot of alloys needed. Two, four, six, eight, a hundred. We have that amount in here. So they can build all this and they can all get to work. And they'll make their own food, but we can also distribute it around. And then hopefully when we get better techs, we can start to change up how that how we use that. We're still waiting on that flipping silicon to come in. All right, they're going to get it now, which is good. Did they get all the hydrogen? They did. It's just to be collected now. It's just ice to be collected, collected, collected. So we're just waiting on collections now mostly, which is good. Mining is almost done. So when this miner is done, we could even switch it to do another collection. 
Possibly. I'm sorry that this took the whole episode, but I really think it's important. I just feel it in my bones that we need to get everything before we get out of here. His whole integrity has stayed positive. So what would it take to make more power? 60 polymers. We've only got 32. Yeah, we're kind of at our limit until we can go find more carbon. Now, we need another thing for ice. So ice storage, I guess. To be honest, we could maybe pop it in here. It has to come into here and then get moved, but might not be a bad idea. If this is going to be the food sector, that's where it needs to go, right? It's a lot of building. It's a lot of alloy production, but we still have a lot of iron to get through, so I'm not too worried about it. It's 300 iron here. There's like 300 iron here, so... We're good, and hopefully the extra... Yeah, there's no one extra being taken care of in there, but there is in here, so we're... everyone has a sick bed. Yeah? A little bit of homelessness. You know, Sector 2 is 33 people not without a home. And Sector 1 is quite a lot of people, 67. <laughs> so maybe a couple extra. Warning. A sector is being overworked. Although we're not going to be able to have the power for all that. So we are at our limit, power-wise now. I think we got to get going then. Sector's been overworked. Really? Just from these three? Well, this can be taken offline. This can be assigned to food. Actually, this could be assigned to food. And this could be ice. And ice. I guess each of these take up a little bit of power as well. Uh, so yeah, let's migrate. Let's move some people in here so they're not overworked. <clears throat> so sector two. Just trying to think. Uh, 152 workers out of 142. So there's 60 extra workers in here. So they can. Some of them can come out for a little bit. So from sector two to sector. Three. Move workers, and I don't know, maybe 30? And just move them in. At least food is fine. No more resources available to mine. That's good, the miners have, are out of stuff to get now. It's really just up to the collection of all these different things. <laughs> We're right in the edge for power, so it's just so funny. I wouldn't mind powering down a, a smelting or something, because that's fine. We just need to now store up things to get us to move, and then we'll be okay. How many pods are left, by the way? We've only got 103 people pods left, so it might also be time to maybe ease up on thawing people out. I think we're good for a little while on that. Pause that construction. Has in the Building not connected to... Oh yeah, that's okay. Food is getting built now anyway, so it's okay. Population cancer complete. Alright, so they're optimal, optimal, optimal. Love it. Alright, everyone's optimal. Everything's good. 14 units of food stored. Easy. Easy. Constant hunger. No one's hungry. Don't be lying to me. You've got plenty of food. This sector consumes a little bit more than it produces. So let's just tell it to move in some. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Sector 1 can go to Sector 3. Storage there is aiming to be... Let's say it's aiming to be 50. It gets a little nervous when you start lowering your own sector amounts. And here, the goal is going to be to have 50 as well. Here, the goal is to have 100. Let's just also say 50. So 50 across the board. And this will be the agri sector once it's all done. All right, so that's ice, food, and this will be ice as well. We can keep this one offline. So ice that comes in here, we're going to just tell it to immediately move into this place. That's one last thing to do. So ice from sector two into sector three. Max it out. Uh, you could have it be 100 in both, really. Well, actually, you can have 200 in the other one. But there is like 300 out there, so yeah, I guess just it's fine.
Good. Alright, trust is maxed. Power is right on the edge. Whole integrity has come up to almost where it needs to be. We are almost ready to get moving. This, is, this episode is going to go a little long, because we do have to just grab some of these things. There's hydrogen 36 that we need to get. A little bit more ice to grab out there, 143. The silicon is available now as well. I just feel like they're taking a really long time. They're going for the iron. I feel like, didn't I? Well, there's only two iron. You know what? Could you forget that, please? Yeah, you can. <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, I guess I'm not doing my priorities very well. So they're still getting the ice. That's fine. So he's going to get the silicon. Yeah. All right, triple speed. Just keep it going until everything kind of gets delivered and then we move. A little bit of unhappiness in this sector. They're angry. Why? People are starving. The next food thing isn't for two and a half days, though. I can't do anything about that. But there is food stored here. There's 64. So it will get distributed. They just need time, right? So hopefully it'll be okay. People can just chill. So ice has come in here, but once they store 100, then they'll start storing all the rest of it in the other sector. And we're still making alloys all the time, so I think things are fine. I have to reassure myself, but our surplus food is 7.6 right now, so it's really good. And we're not pulling any in from space, so that's all produced here. So we're okay. I mean, it's not great that people are so upset in here. That's probably the biggest concern. Negative three from being starving, but in one and a half cycles, they'll be hopefully fed and okay again. So again, I can only apologize for taking so long with everything, but I think it's just right to do things, at least in my opinion, properly. Take the time to make these decisions it's as fast as I can do them. <laughs> Um, but I'm really excited to get into the next system and see what's going on. Do we have the power to turn this on? We actually don't. Oh, we do. And when hydrogen comes in, we can fill that up. And then we'll say goodbye to Saul as a system. I feel good that at least I stayed on top of the food situation despite so many people coming in all the time. We're maxed out with ice. You think that it would actually take more energy or something keeping it cool. That would be pretty annoying, I guess, if they did that. Alright, how are we doing for silicon? Silicon 30 coming back, and how much more is out there? That's it. That's going to be the last of the silicon. And we could just store that up, right, in the silicon thing here. Power it offline once it's there. We don't need to turn on the electronics thing until we get to the next station. And battery power is pretty much full. Does this cost any power to build that? No, let's just build that as well then. Why not? 40 alloys. Sixth battery. They have four batteries in here. Power consumption is three cycles and this is 3.8. Man, I can imagine when we've got six sectors, it will be kind of micro-intensive when you're toggling on and off different buildings. I don't mind toggling them on off, but I do wish that there was a hotkey for it. I had to look in the key bindings before and there isn't, so you have to click, click. I just feel like it'd be nice if you just went like this, boom, click. Or you could like double click and select all the buildings and then just turn them off. They'd be good quality of life features. Are you listening, Dolus? Bulwark? Come on. <laughs> Alright, hey, we're doing good there. So now we can turn this off. That whole integrity take a couple hits, that's okay by me. Save a bit of that power. Food is good. Ice is building up. Do I have to tell it to have a little less before it transfers? Let me just check that I do that right. So, ice. Maybe I'll say just keep 90. You can export to sector 3. And your goal here is to have 100. Yeah. So you should start sending some in, right? But they're not, for some reason. I don't know where it's going. Well, I'm literally watching them bring it in here. But I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's going into the one that's powered off. Oh, I didn't know that was even possible. I thought it had to be powered on to get stuff. I think when you power things on or off, it just means they have no forklifts. But I actually didn't think you could even load things up. I knew you could take things out. 
But I guess that answers my question. Technically, these don't need to be powered at all. Good. Good to know. All right. Problems are almost all solved as well. The homelessness issues and all of that. The health issues. All good. This is... I'm confident, other than the fact that people are watching, I'm confident that I've made the right choice in uh, delaying and taking a while with this. The last thing is these guys are heading off to get the rest of that ice. This guy is getting the more specialized thing. So he's coming back in with the polymers, the silicon, and the hydrogen. So he's got 33 silicon in stock right now. How do you get 33? Oh, because he leveled up. He can take more. He's tier two. This one's tier one and tier one. Nice. That's gone very quiet now. A new request awaits your attention. Don't tell me you're going to get unhappy again or something. Lots of cryonic pods in storage. Living with the knowledge that loved ones could potentially be alive and in cryonics is not having a positive impact. Addressing the build of a cryonic pods. A pledge to awaken 50 pods in 24 cycles. Okay, I can do that. I think that's already done. Because, oh no, there it's, it is there. And we did feed everyone, so that's also good. Yeah, what have we got? Like... There's only 118 people. We've been waking them up constantly. I guess I've just powered these buildings down. We'll turn one of them on. That's... What is it? Uh, three every cycle. And then we have 24 cycles to get 50 people out. So I guess I might have to power both on. But we make a lot of food, so I think we can do it. And we can handle it. It's just the housing might be a problem then power, because housing takes power, so. Might have to be some homelessness for a while. 100 ice, 100 ice, 100 ice. Great, the ice has been distributed. We can't really make another one, so we'll have to leave it there. And is anyone going to get that yet? These guys are still getting their ice. Of course, I did tell them to do that. But I think once they bring that in, I might leave the rest of it behind. And we'll just get the last of the little unique resources, as it were. So this is going to be the last journey they make out there. You're not going there anymore. I'm going to say avoid. Okay. So 85 ice will be left behind. Sure, we can get ice. Not that hard. How hard could it be? So because you've got nothing else to do, you can also just get on the other things as well. So it's going to take two trips going out to get the hydrogen. And the other guy's coming back as well. So that's going to be the last trip, and then we're jumping. So sorry this has gone on a quite long episode, but An accident has occurred it will be worth it. I'm sorry that I keep apologizing as well. <laughs> People have said before, they're like, you're so apologetic in your videos. It's because I don't want to waste anyone's time. That's all. And sometimes it just feels like, ah, if things aren't happening, I feel like I'm wasting time. But it's in the benefit of the future of the series. That's all I can say. 22 Science. 300 food, look at that. We are maxed out. Feels damn good. Why is there zero ice in here, by the way? I thought I said 100 a moment ago. Did it just melt? There was definitely 100 ice in here, wasn't there? Turn that back on then. I'm confused. I almost feel like that must be a bug or something. I'm so sure it said that. And nothing's been delivered? So there must it must be there or something. But it does look empty. Can I set it to something else, maybe? Set it to ice now. I don't know. 79 is in docking. So 100 is here. They Oh, I know. Another thing as well is that they've... Why can't I tell them to store... Oh, yeah. There we go. 200. Store 200. No? Don't want to do that? Sector 3 is 200. Sector 1's been told to hold at least 100. Let's tell them to hold 90. Yeah, it seems weird. I guess you need space in here before that will unload into it. So, oh, okay, fair enough. And we're loading up hydrogen now as well. Can we afford this? Yes, we can. And carbon also, which we can't afford. But we can turn that one off, and carbon can come back on. Alright, that seems like that's going to be it. There is nothing left to get other than the last little bit of ice, but I'll leave it. Everything is here now. We're ready to jump. We just need to distribute. I don't think we even have to wait for that. We can just go. 
We're at 308 power out of 310. Our batteries are basically full. We're good to jump. All right. I've done everything I need, gotten everything in the system. I'm leaving behind possibly a few things, right? Because there is, of course, there was, of course, a few probe areas somewhere out here. But, you know, pockets of ice and hydrogen again. So we're leaving some stuff behind, but it's time to go. Charge the Ixion engine. In accordance with Frau Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. All right, the Vol charge. We're almost ready. Hull in pretty good condition. Trust everyone trusts that this is okay. So you have to trust me. It's the engine ready. Let's go. Oh, I got an achievement. This can't go wrong, right? I mean, last time we, I mean, <laughs> are we going to destroy Saturn now as well? I'd be terrified of doing a second jump. Where are we even going? Did We picked up coordinates and said that we're going somewhere else, but they didn't name it. We're going to wherever the Protagoras was, right? I do think this is so cool. I think it's quite a unique representation of it as well. Oh my god. We made it? I think? Alright, what have we got? Complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Severe hull damage has oh been God. detected <laughs> following self-similar traversal. Hypothesis. Each vol jump causes irreversible damage to the tycoon structure. Great. Predictive modeling suggests that four more vol jumps are possible before the tycoon breaks apart. I would not trust that. New mission objective established. Stop the jumping. This possesses coordinates of the habitable exoplanet Remus. Mm. We must find the Protagoras in order to reach our destination. Okay. All right. All right. We made our jump. Batteries are good. Everything seems fine. Sector three is uh, is actually happy again. Excellent. Excellent. Good. 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 Oh my god. What the hell is that? Space weather. Weather events. When inside these dangerous areas, you might take some damage, but your fleets may not be so lucky. Ooh. Is this a whole area as well? Oh my god, it is. I don't know what that is, though. This obviously looks like some sort of storm. Alright, well, here we are. We're in the Immortan system. Falcon 74 is a planet nearby. Sensors have picked up some unusual readings on the surface of Falcon 74, sending a team to investigate. Alright guys, it starts all over again. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry for taking so long to get here, but we should have a lot to explore and investigate in the next episode. I am super looking forward to moving forward. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord, where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing, and it's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.